So today's video is obviously going to be an interiors one and it's basically an idea that I've been wanting to do for so long and it's to show you how to decorate a room step by step. I know that when we have a new room to decorate or you want to redecorate or completely transform or just change a few things, whatever it is, it can be a little bit overwhelming because you genuinely don't know where to start. So I'm actually in the process of turning my home office into a new dining area because we're moving the office into a different room in the apartment. So I figured while I was doing it, like in real time, I would actually show you the steps I'm taking from clearing it out to ordering the things and everything in between. I'll show you my five step process and hopefully it will help you too and make things way less overwhelming. So obviously I won't be able to show you the end result today because as you can see, we're very much at the before, but I'll show you the exact process and then in a few weeks time, I'll show you the end result in a different video. So here are the five steps. So we're actually starting the process today. So step number one is to clear out everything that's in here except for the things that I'll be keeping, which are possibly the chairs. So we're literally going to move everything out today now and then I'll show you the empty room. out of here um, so straight away that gives me a better idea of the space I mean sorry it's so echoey <laughs> it's so empty now and then this just gives you like the kick you need to kind of get the ball rolling so if you do have a room that you're transforming sooner than later clear it out and find places for everything and then you can start the new design Okay, so step number two is the fun part then in my opinion. Basically, it's finding your inspiration and doing your research. And just like all of us, I use Pinterest. I absolutely love it, but also agree that it can be very time consuming. So in order to make the best use out of Pinterest, this is what you have to do. You only pin images and find images that mirror your room design and shape so i don't want you pinning images of these beautiful bedrooms that look nothing like your bedroom not talking about what's in it like not the bed or the table or whatever it is but just the shape of the room just find images that are the same shape as the room that you have and then that will give you such a good idea of what you can do with your space so for example i have a board called nyc dining area and i only really have images in there that i know could work in my dining area and there's a few in particular that like really kind of scream out to me so then immediately it just gives me a really good idea and really good inspiration for what I can do with my room okay and then as soon as you kind of have your inspiration found and your research done the next step is to make a list of every single thing you need for the room and I mean down to the plant <laughs> to the candle whatever it is make a really comprehensive list of everything that you need and then you can start budgeting and then when it comes to the budget you have to be realistic like for example I've been looking at dining tables all week and I never knew how expensive they were I've seen tables that I absolutely love for like $1,500 and $2,000 and $3,000 but for me it just doesn't make sense for a rented apartment right now because it mightn't fit the next apartment I go to so I know straight away that I want to find dining room table for like under $500 or 500 and under so kind of write your list and then right next to that a rough estimate of how much you're willing to spend on the piece and then that will give you an idea of how much you need to budget for overall for the room And then when you have your list made and you're kind of like rough estimate budget ready to go the next step then is to really ask yourself okay what could I actually DIY if you're into that um, even if you're not into it don't knock it before you try it I love DIY and I've done lots of DIY in my apartment and literally saved hundreds of dollars so always when I make my list of a room and when I kind of have to start from scratch I look at everything and I ask myself okay what could I actually DIY or like what could I do a little bit cheaper and then that cuts my budget and cuts my spending down so much so my trick for this is to go on YouTube so if you want a white and gold dining table like I was looking them up they're 
700, 800, 900 and above dollars. But you could go to Ikea, buy a plain white table with plain white legs and spray paint the legs gold and literally save hundreds of dollars. So there's so many good tutorials online on YouTube. So search what you're thinking and I guarantee you, you'll be so surprised at how easy things are and how much money you can save. So that's like something I always do when I'm starting to redecorate a room. Okay, and then if you've got this far, you are doing really well. You are at the end of the to-do list. So basically, once you have all that done, all the research, all the kind of like budgeting, that side of things done, the next thing to do and the last thing to do is to either go online or go into a store and really make those orders. And I will say, when I moved into my apartment first, I it was kind of my first time doing up an apartment and I was a bit new to it. And I really didn't realize how long things take to arrive. Like couches or dining tables or any big pieces of furniture can take months to get to your apartment or get to your house so do this before you're ready because if you want your apartment to come together quickly and you just really want to get it done get those orders in fast so go online like go on to maybe three or four different websites or go into three or four different stores don't delay too much make your decisions and put your orders in and then if you're going to be doing diy go into the hardware store get all your bits and pieces ready like spray paint or contact paper or whatever it is you need and get working on that quickly too because things always take longer than you expect so get as organized as you can and and everything will come together so well. All right, and that is everything. I really hope that was helpful. Um, I am kind of halfway through those steps with my own room now, so hopefully that will come together and I'll be sure to show you the end result in a new video. I really hope it helps you with your room. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.